I'm going to show you how you can unblock Netflix with a VPN so you can access geo-restricted content from anywhere around the world. The first thing we need to do is to open our web browser and you want to go to netflix.com. From here you want to click on the sign in button in the top right, then you want to go ahead and sign into your account. In this case I'm going to use my NordPass password manager which you can get with the link in the description. So once we've signed in and selected our profile, we can go ahead and minimize out of Netflix because what we need to do now is to get a VPN to trick Netflix into thinking we are from another country. The VPN we are going to be using today is called Private Internet Access VPN and you can get it with the link in the description below. So once you've got Private Internet Access, you want to click on the VPN server button in the middle of the screen and then you want to select a VPN server from anywhere around the world that you want to unblock Netflix in. In this case, I'm going to use the United States, so we're going to click on the drop down menu and then you want to set the server with the lowest latency. In this case, it's US Baltimore. Once you've done this, you want to click on the power button in the middle of the screen and then it will connect to the VPN server within a few seconds. So once you are connected to the server, you are now browsing the internet as if you are from that country. So we can exit out of the VPN and open Netflix and all we need to do now is refresh the page. After a few seconds, once it's refreshed, you will then be viewing Netflix in the country you selected. In this case, we are viewing the United States Netflix. We can go ahead and click on the play button and you can start watching the US movies just as you normally would. And that's it. So to remember to click on the link in the description to sign up for private internet access VPN. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to one of me if I'd helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.